Hey, my legion. How y'all doing, my legion? Yeah, I wanted to show you a couple landmark buildings. Uh, this was a landmark building believed to be built around 1850, and they don't know who the original owner was. There used to be a brick outhouse in the back, and it's hard to see from here, but in the belfry right there, there's always a mannequin. And uh, it's kind of creepy, but it's cool. I dig it. And then Christmas time, it's Santa Claus. The Santa Claus mannequin. Now here's something neat. These, uh, God, it's hard to see these blinker lights right here. Blinker lights, uh, they were having, town council were having trouble uh, with that. They began petitioning the state that they need blinker lights back in 1946. You know, it's hard to see. And it said they started partitioning the state in 1946, then again 1948, 1950, 1958, and 1964. But they didn't have any luck. They said that the state claimed there wasn't enough traffic to warrant a signal light. Finally they got one, well they got two, in 1972. Kind of tough to see, but they're there. Alright. I want to show you a building that has lots of history, at least to me. Now, uh, back when I was uh, growing up down the street in Crane Road, this used to be the post office, you know. That first building was the post office right here, and then uh, the store next to it was a gift shop. And then sometime in the 90s, uh, they stopped, uh, well in the late 80s, because I was in the army, they, they got rid of the post office, they put a restaurant there, you know, and the gift shop was still going, and then the restaurant was Betty's Kitchen, and then Betty was having problems with the IRS, so uh, they changed to Connie's Kitchen. Now I worked there for two years until the IRS finally shut it down, and then my cousin Eric and Bridget started Gerard Diner too, and that was going for a little while. And then uh, my, uh, they went out, of, they stopped, they sold it to the Mennonites who did Country Kitchen. The Country Kitchen was awesome, you know. Uh, they'd have breakfast specials like egg and sausage and stuff like that for like two bucks. But you had to get there in the morning or for 99 cents. And then this used to be, that went out of business back in 92. And then that became Parker's Restaurant not too long after that. And then they got divorced, so they changed to another restaurant, which had a breakfast buffet over there. And then that went out of business like 10 years ago. So pretty much now I think it's all apartments. Those were definitely apartments before, and there were apartments down here. And then the Cranesville Post Office is right up there. And it got built back in, uh, I think, the late 80s late 1980s and that's the new Craneville post office right up there now I'm gonna go to uh, revisit chicken wing night at uh, Craneville fire hall alright now I'm gonna retaste the wings again alright till then take care of my legion I'll show you the fire hall a big out great outdoor shot of it which I didn't do before alright and it is outside the fire hall says, way to go, class of 2013, wing night, June 7th, which is today. There's the order number. His little fireman guy. And then right across from there used to be the Cranesville School, built in 1930. Then that went out of business in the 50s. It became an ice rink, and then that went out of business, and now it's a parking lot for the fire hall. And once again, the fire hall. Some more awards and stuff. Well, they sell the chicken. And once again, the fire hall. Some more awards and stuff. Well, they sell the chicken. Hey, and this is uh, this is the hardware store that was built around the turn of the century, and they had some remodeling done. Kennedy's Hardware Store, and we pay our lot rent to them also. And that's a closer-up shot of the Cranesville Post Office, and they have an old uh, storage facility. Kennedy does right there. All right. I'll show you some more stuff. And there's a closer look inside the hardware store. Now this right here is uh, 
Cranesville Banner that I did a video about called Demystifying the Cranesville Banner. That's the one side right there. And the other side that caused the controversy was... Oh no, they changed it. The Cranesville Borough, they changed them all. That's not the right one, that's the new one. Oh wow, they don't have the other one now. Wow, this is the new one then, the Cranesville Borough Banner. Now this church, it's a Methodist, Cranesville Methodist Church. It was originally built in 1817. And then they did remodeling to it. You know, and they changed some things and stuff like that, but I'm not a, the most religious guy in the world, but you know, it's a really nice church. You know, 1819, that's pretty good. And a stained glass window there. And then they got, what, June, Second, the power of three. Well, that's June 7th now, so a couple days off. Yeah, Cranesville Methodist Church, 1874 to 1964. That's pretty cool. And then they must have, after 18, 1964, they must have done remodeling to it. Pretty cool stuff. That's the church right there. And here's that other building right there with the cool mannequin on top. All righty. Yeah, I'm revisiting wing night. So I try it again now. With these french fries, I put mayonnaise and hot sauce on and some wasabi sauce. But some, so some french fries, like these, are good with you know, like malt vinegar and salt and garlic powder. When I lived in Germany for two years, I, I like putting may I started putting mayonnaise on my french fries. And some are just really good with ketchup and hot sauce. But I find mixing uh, mayonnaise and hot sauce is really good for my friend P.O.D. Ledge 92 who lives in Germany. And this is my buffalo wings, boneless wings. I'm going to try one of these. Also, travelers often worry that they're going to miss important mail on their way, but now thanks to technology, that worry could be a bit of the past. Details coming up. That's delicious. Now I'm going to try this. I got some wasabi on there also. Big savings with new delicious thousands french fries. Of items They're are really good too, so. Until next time, I hope you like this thing of Wings Night revisiting some local history. That's some neat uh, landmark buildings. Alright, take care my legion.